Hello everybody, Tim Pierce here. Um, you might know me as Pierce T 3D Print on the Reddit forums or Pierce T everywhere else. Um, I saw Kirby's video the other day uh, explaining about all the modifications done to his printer and uh, that looks like an interesting idea so I think I'll try that on mine as well. So this is that video and hopefully you get some enjoyment out of it. Um, it's hopefully as much enjoyment as I have uh, doing crazy and unnatural things to my printer in the first place. Um, so basically I'm just going to jump right into it and show off a little bit. Anyways, you notice my printer here has a green and uh, blinky light on the front of it that it controls basically the status indicators of the printer. There's a, just an LED strip in there, RGB, it's got a little box. It's got a switch on the front that actually controls the lights on and off. Um, there's a main power switch on the other side there. Uh, but basically that just as it heats up and does goes through its thing. Um, it should get warmer as we're going through the video here. Um, working from the ground up, we've got the Taz um, open builds modifications on there, which I designed. So you've got the Y rail modification, which actually has the uh, front and back uh, end plates that I just recently published on there, as well as all the uh, the actual stiffened open builds uh, modifications. As far as that goes, um, you can see it worked pretty easily here. You can see the back one there. As far as the bed, I have an aluminum bed plate on here that um, basically replaces the stock plate along with the aluminum bed fingers that come with the uh, Taz Dual Extruder Kit, which I do not have, but I have the fingers for the bed anyways. Uh, on the back there you can see a mini style uh, nozzle cleaning nozzle, which has been recently installed and hasn't actually been used yet. And if I run the bed back the other way, down below you can actually see I have um, mini, or not mini, excuse me, uh, metal uh, bed to mainframe clips. I had those uh, custom made uh, by a forum, uh, I got posts in the Lulzbot forums. It does quite good work. Um, we've got those for sale. I've also got uh, metal corner ends like will be on the uh, upcoming TAS 6 and a reinforcing piece. You can kind of see it a little bit better in some of the other shots there probably. Um, but basically it's just a standard 80-20, 20, uh, 20 millimeter cut corner gusset. So moving up from there, um, my extruder looks a little bit different than some of the ones you've probably seen. I've basically got a mixture of the uh, Lulzbot Taz 6 extruder and one designed by a user called Wolfie. Um, I combined the two, made it my own kind of design, changed the fan geometry. Um, so it's all reinforced and it's one of the stiffer extruders out there, also a little bit heavier. You can see the X-Rail um, modification there as well. Over on the right hand side you can get a good shot of the anti-wobble and basically that just disconnects the lead screw from uh, messing with the rest of it. And we've of course got the uh, z-axis open rails on there as well. Moving up to the uh, back of the printer there's actually a cable chain modification for the X, Y, and Z. I've got it down on the bed. That'll actually fit the uh, st stock tabs uh, 4 and 5 or actually any of them for that matter if you're interested. And then there's the uh, micrometer modification down here on the lower left hand side. And basically that replaces the stock and uh, stop target. This micrometer gives you much better height adjustment and everything like that. I actually don't have auto leveling enabled on this particular printer yet. I do have a working prototype on that. But the I never need to level it so it's kind of um, not really necessary at this point. On the top here in the video, I'm sure you can see these two light bars, front and back. Um, the light bar itself is based off of Fluren's uh, shorter light bars. I've widened them, and then it's got my end caps and uh, the mounts for the actual light bar that go into the frame. And see what else we got on here. Uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. Most of the rest of it stock has um, reinforced everything that I could when I could. Um, oh, I do have one other extruder down here. This is my uh, flexible filament extruder. Basically, got a, hot, a hexagon hot end in it, a uh, six millimeter, uh, 0.6 millimeter nozzle, excuse me, and then a Bontech based uh, belted extruder. So I have that available, um, still in the testing phase. So it's not quite fully operational yet. Uh, you can see the nozzle droops a little bit when it gets warm there on that, but that's normal for the Taz. Anyways, if anybody has any question. Um, all these mods are available open source online. Um, oh, I do also have Disco John's ex taller extruder, uh, actual hexagon extruder uh, cold end on there as well. 
but that's about it. Um, so they're all online. I have them on my Thingiverse profile under Pierce T. Um, if anybody has any questions, wants the files, wants the, the you know the base design files to make their own, just hit me up. Let me know. Um, thanks and enjoy.